Hello and welcome. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to set up a Gary's Mod game server. Um, and with this, I believe I have the fastest method for setting up a game server. Um, so there's only going to be a couple clicks that you have to do to set things up, and it'll be really easy to update the server in the future. So you don't need to come back to this tutorial um, at a later time. Um, so before we get started in this tutorial, there are a few prerequisites that you are going to need. Um, so the first thing, this is Sublime Text. This is what I use for whenever I do any form of programming. This is completely optional. However, it just makes it a bit easier to do um, any form of coding if you guys are going to be doing that. So I strongly recommend Sublime Text. Uh, there will be a link for everything that is listed here um, in the description below. Then after that, um, the second thing that we're going to be getting here is our uh, Gamma that we're going to be installing on our server. And so I'm going to be using Darker P. So I'm just going to come over here to this little button here and click Code. And then I'm going to click download zip. And so this will give me the game mode code, which we'll, we will install in just a moment. Then after that, I'm going to come to Steam CMD and you'll be at this page here. You're going to scroll on down until you see download Steam CMD for Windows. So you're going to click that as well. Now that I have these installed here in uh, the zips, what I'm going to want to do is actually create a section on my desktop for Steam CMD. I'm going to come here, right click, and I'm going to hit new. I'm going to click folder and I'm just going to call this Steam CMD. Okay, then I'm going to open this up here. And then now that I have this open, what I'm going to do is hop back into Google here, click on Steam CMD so we can open up that zip. I'm going to close this again, and I'm going to take this EXE here and just drag that into Steam CMD. Okay, so now that we have that, the first thing that we want to do is actually just run this. So I'm going to open this up now and wait for it to initialize. Okay, so now that that's all done and it installed everything that it needs to, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and close this now. Or attempt to close it. Okay, so now once, since that's closed, the next thing you want to do is actually head back into the description and you should see a link to um, our game server setup. And these are basically just some preset files that I've made uh, to make the installation process of our server a bit easier. So the inside Steam CMD folder is what you're going to want to click on. And you can see that we have a few files here. And so we have one for installing and we have one for updating. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag both of these in. OK, so now that both of these are in here, the first thing that we're going to want to do is obviously install. So just to take a look at what is actually happening here, um, if you're familiar with most tutorials of installing a server, um, this is actually just kind of doing everything for us in one go. Um, it's installing uh, Gary's mod here, and then it's actually installing um, Counter-Strike source. And then after that, we're just going ahead and actually update Gary's mod um, one more time. And the reason for this is because after you install Counter-Strike source, uh, there tends to be a missing DLL error. And so that will take care of that. And then all we need to do at this point is just go ahead and run this. Additionally, um, for our server where we want to install it, this is the directory here. And so I'm going to be installing YouTube tutorial server. So if I go to my C drive right now um, and I open that up, which is over here, you can see if we scroll down, I don't have anything here. However, I have it listed here and it's going to go ahead and create a new directory for me. So I'm going to go ahead and run that now. OK, so while this downloads, um, I'm just going to have it do its thing. It's going to download Gary's mod Counter-Strike and then update Gary's mod one more time. And then once it's done with that, um, we'll continue with the tutorial. Alrighty, so um, Steam CMG just finished installing Gary's mod CS Strike and actually updating Gary's mod. So now that this is all set, we can actually close this. We don't need to use this anymore. Also, real quick, I just wanted to remind you guys um, inside the server update batch file here, whenever you edit this, you want to make sure that your directory is the same one that you specified for your install directory, because that's where it's going to install it. Um, another thing, if you guys don't want Counter-Strike and you don't want to mount it for whatever reason, um, you can actually install your server by just using this batch file. However, this one is just an initial one that will inst uh, install Counter-Strike. This one does not up update Counter-Strike because I don't believe there is going to be any updates for Counter-Strike uh, source anytime soon, so it's not really necessary. Um, but these two basically perform the same thing. However, this one just has Gary's mod in it. OK, um, so now that we have that set up, if we hop over to our C drive and I'm just going to show you how to get there. Um, if you go to this PC in your file um, explorer here and you click on your local disk or wherever you installed it, um, you can now see that we have YouTube tutorial server. Um, you can see that we have the srcds.exe. We don't actually want to run that, and that is not necessary in this tutorial, so we're not going to worry about that. The first thing that we're going to do here is actually uh, mount Counter-Strike. So to do that, I'm just going to click on CS Strike here, and then I'm going to click at this little navigation bar up here at the top, and then I'm going to do Control-C to copy, and then I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to click on Gary's Mod, and then we're going to go to CFG, and then we're going to click mount.cfg. If you don't see the option to open this uh, right away with Sublime, if you just go ahead and uh, click Open or 
open with, you should see an option to perhaps open it with Sublime. So you're going to want to look for that. Uh, once you get here, you, this will be the inside of the file. You can see that this is essentially a comment, meaning that the code is not running here. What you want to do is remove this comment here, and then we're going to go into this um, inside these quotes here, and we're going to paste the directory that we just copied. So this is actually the location of our CS strike or C strike here. And then we're going to do control S to save it or come up here and do file and hit save. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is actually um, configure our server.cfg. And so you can see it's empty right away, but there's a few things that we can put in here. So if we go back into the game server setup folder here, you can see that we have inside server and we go ahead and click on our server.cfg. This is basically a little preset here. Um, there's a bunch of uh, parameters that you can put inside here. However, I'm just going to do hostname and the password. Uh, oftentimes people use the Archon password. However, um, I don't really have any use for that, so I'm not going to include it. And I don't recommend uh, putting your Archon password in your server.cfg. Um, so here in your SV underscore password, if you want to have a password, you can just type it in here and then people will have to connect with that password. However, you leave this empty, uh, then anyone can connect without having to put a password. There's no need to delete this line. Um, so now I'm going to save that. And so now our server.cfg is all good to go. Now the last part that we need to do is install darkrp. So what we're going to do inside our Gary's mod directory, we have our game modes. We're going to click on this and then we're going to create a new folder. And this is going to be called darkrp. Okay, so now that we have darkrp set up here, what we're going to do is open up this folder and then we're going to hop back into Google Chrome and we're going to open up that darkrp master that we installed from the GitHub. Okay, so now that we have this open here, what we need to do is go ahead and click on our darkrp master and we're just going to highlight everything and extract it into our darkrp folder. Okay, now that that is done, darkrp is installed, then what we're going to do is go back to the main directory here just by clicking on our name of our server folder, which is YouTube tutorial server. Next thing we're going to go back to is go back into our um, game server setup folder here, and you'll see that inside the server, this little subfolder here, we have a another batch file. So I'm going to go ahead and just control C, and I'm going to paste this into our YouTube tutorial server by doing control V. So now here, um, this is kind of the naming convention that I do here because sometimes I have multiple batch files, which is totally okay. Um, I do the game mode and then I do an underscore followed by the map just so I understand what it is. And um, to configure this to actually use darker P and the map that we want, we're just gonna right click and hit edit. Then over here, this is basically what's gonna start up our server. There's a couple things here, There's actually a lot of things that you can edit and add. Um, right now, this is a public server, so this isn't on LAN, um, but if you want to add in LAN, I believe it's plus SV underscore LAN. And then you would do one. Um, also, you want to put this not in between a workshop collection, perhaps right here. And that would set up a LAN server for you. So only people on your local area network could connect. However, I'm just going to leave this as is. But do you know if you want other people to join that are not on your local network, you are going to need to port forward. I don't have a tutorial up for that yet, but I may include one in the future. Um, there are tutorials online that are worth checking out um, for port forwarding. But without that, you're still fine. You can still have your server running. Um, over here, we have the port. I just like 13337. Um, so that's the port I'm going to be using. You can adjust your tick rate. Over here is the map. Um, right now, I'm just using GM Construct. However, if you want it to include a custom map, you could go inside your Gary's mod and then go to uh, maps. And in here, you can extract uh, the BSP into here. And I'm actually going to include a link to a really nice website that allows you to extract add-ons right away. So you can just get the BSP and drag it in there. So uh, check out the description for that. It's a really, really useful tool. I really recommend it. Okay, next up after we have our map set up, which I'm just going to keep it on GM Construct, uh, the next thing we want to do is actually set up the game mode. So you can see we have the plus game mode um, launch parameter here, you can actually put anything you want here. So for example, I could do sandbox or darker P, but in this case, I'm just gonna keep it as darker P. So I'm gonna leave it as is. So now I'm going to save that. And then the next move is to actually launch our server. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this now, and it is going to launch. Also, one thing to keep in mind, if you are using the same exact thing here, uh, I do have a collection um, that I'm using that have uh, very useful tools. Uh, for developing. So I strongly recommend this if you're going to be using this for a development server. But if you want to use your own uh, collection here, where it says plus host workshop collection, um, you want to paste in your ID there. This is the personal one that I use for um, like development tools, which I strongly recommend, as I said. So I'm just going to leave that as is because there's no other add ons that I want installed. Okay, so now that our server is set up here, um, the quickest way to actually get connected to it is if you just go ahead and type status, hit enter, uh, you'll have access to this local IP address and port here. I'm just going to copy this. 
if you are going to be um, inviting other people to the server, you are going to have to provide them with your public IP address, which is your personal IP address, which is my personal IP address. Um, so be mindful of that. So I strongly recommend just keeping it on a LAN server. Um, that way your IP is not exposed to everyone else. Um, then what you're going to want to do now that you have that copied here by just highlighting this and doing control C, you're going to hop into Gary's mod and then you're going to hold down tilde, which is the key above tab. And then you're going to write connect and then uh, your IP import. And then if there was a password, so for example, let's say your password was one, two, three, uh, you would do semicolon password. And then you would do in quotes one, two, three, and this would execute the password command after uh, doing connect. So you can type in your password there. But now I'm just going to do it without the password because there is no password. So I'm going to connect now. And you can see it says ret retrieving server info. If we hop into the console here, you can see Dan FMN has connected and it is showing my local IP address. Okay, so now we're in game. Everything seems good. There's no error saying that Counter Strike needs to be mounted, and we have our Dark RP server set up. If you guys want to actually install add ons, just real quick, uh, just go to Gary's Mod add ons, and then any add ons here, you want to just extract them into there. I do have a tutorial on how to install add ons, so I recommend checking that out. But uh, this will conclude our tutorial on how to set up a server. Like I said, if you guys want to update your server, if Gary's Mod releases a new update, just go ahead and run that batch file, make sure that the uh, directory is the correct one and it will automatically update your server. There's no need to actually touch Steam CMD and manually type things in. So um, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, like, if you have any questions, comment down below and I will see you guys next time.